Hello and welcome to EGN 3613. We will continue addressing the effect of inflation on the value of the dollar by addressing the difference between actual and constant dollars. When ignoring any inflation uh, and uh, estimating the future cash flows for n years to have uh, constant purchasing power, we call uh, that as constant dollars, and we refer to it as uh, a n uh, prime or a prime n. Uh, while estimating future cash flows over n years, taking into consideration inflation or deflation uh, that will happen over these years is called the actual dollars or an. So we have actual dollars and we have constant dollars. Constant dollar without taking the inflation into consideration. The actual dollars with taking uh, consideration or considering the inflation or deflation over the years. Now the question is, can we convert constant dollars into actual dollars? Uh, yes, we can. And in the next few slides, uh, we will learn how to do that. So to convert from constant to actual dollars, we use the formula AN is equal to AN prime multiplied by 1 plus F, which is the average inflation rate, to the power N, which can be written also as A prime N multiplied by the factor. And the factor is F given P with uh, the interest inflation rate of F prime or F average and number of periods N. And again, this is F given P. It's not F divided by P. This is not division. This is not division. This is F given P, given P. And this is just a notation for the factor that can be um, found at the end of the book. The factor with interest F bar or F average. So whatever the, uh, the interest or the inflation rate or the percentage, actually, let me say percentage, um, whatever the percentage is here, then you go back to the uh, end of the book, find the F given P with this value and with number of periods N. Let's take an example for that. If the constant dollars equal to $1,000, N is equal to 3, F average is equal to 8%, and that's the average inflation rate. Average inflation rate is equal to 8%. What is the actual dollars after 3 years, or N is equal to 3? In this case, the actual dollars is equal to 1000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power 3. 3 is number of periods, 0 0.08 is the inflation rate, the average inflation rate, and 1000 is the constant dollars. Multiplying that, we will get 1260 dollars and that is the actual dollars so looking at the inflation rate or including the inflation will make the 1000 equivalent to 1260 dollars and this is the whole idea is to consider inflation and know that you know if inflation plays the factor a um, huge factor of the value of the money that we have uh, now uh, compared to the future value of the same amount of money. This table shows example of the conversion from constant to actual uh, dollars. So we have here the number of periods and we have the constant 
and we have the actual and the actual has been calculated using the factor conversion factor which can like we said we can um, either calculate it mathematically or find the value in the back of the book and once we multiply that factor by the constant dollar we will get the actual dollars this is another way to look at that instead of the table uh, it's uh, more of a cash flow diagram uh, that will show you the constant dollars versus actual dollars and in the middle here is the calculation that will uh, make it uh, go from constant to actual those are the calculations here now can we convert from actual to constant again yes with little algebra the equation will be uh, a n prime is equal to a n multiplied by 1 plus the average inflation all to the power minus n it can be also written as a n p given f with average inflation rate f uh, average uh, and n period of times let's go back to the example our example which is uh, 1260 uh, so we have uh, $1,260 actual dollar can we convert that into the uh, other direction yes and we can multiply 1260 multiplied by 1 <coughs> plus um, 0.08 to the power of minus 3 and that will equal to 1000 this table shows uh, an example of the conversion from actual to constant dollars with a 5% uh, inflation rate and over uh, four periods um, so those are the number of periods and um, we can see the change for the number of periods this is n and uh, we use minus n value this is the factor with 5% uh, inflation and we can calculate the uh, uh, actual or the constant from the actual value so if this is the actual value then this is the constant dollar amount Now, understanding that concept will assist us in understanding how, uh, you know, a price of a house was 38,000 back in the 70s. Uh, and it was, at that point, it was considered very expensive house compared to today's prices. And today, today's price, in today's price, 38,000 is not even a price of a house. So we can look at the... Uh, some of the examples that will make us understand the difference between uh, two points of time uh, taking uh, inflation into consideration uh, this example here talks about two uh, golf players uh, that took awards uh, playing uh, for the master uh, tournament uh, one uh, player was in 1963 and that's uh, Jack Nichol Nichols and um, um, in 2004 the one who won the prize was Phil uh, Michelson. So we are looking at those two people, one winning in 1963 and one winning in 2004. One got an award of 20,000 in 1963 and one got an award of 1.17 million in 2004. <coughs> with average inf inflation rate of 4.525 uh, that 100 in 1967 was equivalent to 91.7 in 1963 and is equivalent to 561 uh, and 32 cents in 2004 
So this is the comparison or this is my actually index. This is my CPI. If we look at an item um, that uh, could be purchased with $100 in 1967, uh, in 1963, uh, the same item could be purchased by 91.7, and in 2004, we can purchase it with $561.23. So, what will be the worth of 1.17 million in terms of purchasing power in 1963? With the average inflation rate of 4.53, between 1963 and 2004, the 1.17 will equal a purchasing power of 190,616 dollars. So that's the power of the 1.17 million that's in 2004 compared to 1963. But remember that Jack um, got 20,000. So if he took that 20,000 in 1963 and um, he put it in a saving account with 5.65% interest, um, ignoring the inflation, uh, we are not talking even about including inflation here, uh, the prize money would grow to be 190,000 616 after 41 periods or 41 years so it's the same the purchasing power it's the same we did not include the inflation if you include the inflation then it will go up to 1.17 million and that's exactly the same what we're talking about so um, the uh, actual money compared to the uh, period of time from 1963 to 2004 actually uh, they are the same the 20,000 that was given in 1963 is equivalent to the 1.17 million that was given to uh, the same tournament or as a price for the same tournament in 2004 and that will um, give you an example on how the inflation uh, affects uh, the uh, cash flow over the years. That will be all for this session. If you have any questions, you can email it to me. Thank you and have a great day.